Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. You're listening to The Warren Pierce Show on News Talk 760 WJR. He's a demon on wheels. I don't know if they're going to be speed racers or not, but I mentioned some famous races around the world. A quick show of hands from those of you who have heard of the Mongol Rally. Well, obviously, our next two guests have. Uh, Colin Otto is 25. He's still here in the Detroit area and over in London on the Saturday morning. Scott Brills, why, and you're 26, explain to our listeners what this Mongol Rally is all about. Hi, good morning, Warren. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? The weather I hear Excellent. in London is sunny. <laughs> it's about as sunny as it can be in the U.K. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, uh, explain what's going to be happening with you and your friend Colin. Well, uh, on July 18th, we're both going to take off from London on a 16-country, 10,000-mile road trip to Mongolia. Whoa. How, how long has that been going? What's the history behind it, uh, Colin? Well, uh, as far as I know, I think this is the sixth or seventh year. Correct me if I'm wrong, Scott. But um, Sixth year, yep. Yep, sixth year, and they've been doing this. I guess a couple guys had this idea to go ahead and drive from London to Mongolia just for the heck of it, for adventure, and uh, they decided to make a charity out of it. And so they've been doing it ever since with uh, great success. It, Scott, have you and uh, Colin ever had any kind of experience in, in road racing as this will be? We we have no experience uh, in road racing. We have very little uh, mechanical experience, uh, so this will be uh, an interesting uh, adventure. Scott, how grueling a trip is this ten thousand mile race between London and Mongolia? It'll be it'll be very grueling. Uh, we are going in a Chevy Metro, two thousand one Chevy Metro, uh, which, as you uh, may know, is not really built for off roading. Uh, we, uh, we've, we've, uh, replaced some bad parts on it, but we haven't modified it in any other way. Uh, so we're going to be taking this across, uh, bad roads, no roads, uh, deserts. Uh, we're going to take it up to 15,000 feet in, on the highest highway in the world. Uh, and, uh, I can barely fit in the thing myself. I'm, I'm a little bit over six two <laughs> and, uh, I have to straddle the steering wheel because <laughs> it's not, uh, not adjustable at all. Well, well wait so, a second. Um, Col- Colin, why, why did you have Scott pick up this kind of vehicle? <laughs> why this car to go into this race? It doesn't sound like the wisest of choice, Colin. Well, that's, that is the kicker. That is the thing for this race is that by the mandate of the rules of the, uh, the race itself, you have to have a car that's 1.2 liter engine or less. Unfortunately, in America, the only thing we could get our hands on was the Chevy Metro at a 1.3. So that makes it a lot harder to make the journey. And unfortunately for Scott, they're pretty small cars. <laughs> Scott, how many hours of the day will you be competing in this race? We're, uh, we're planning on, on driving approximately eight hours a day uh, every day for six weeks or so. How many other cars are in this Mongo Rally, the 10,000-mile charity road race that you're going to start next month? There's, there's a few hundred teams from all over the world. Really? Uh, most of them are from the U.K. and Europe. Uh, there's a handful of teams from, from America, and we are the first uh, and only team ever from Michigan. Well, good for you. We'll be following you. And, Colin, obviously the bottom line, I mentioned it's a charity race. You're still trying to, what, raise money to build a rotary club and a kindergarten in Mongolia when you get there? Yep, that's correct. Um, all the proceeds that we've been collecting over time and are still collecting right now are going to be going to help Rotary International build a school. As well, we're also involved with this uh, organization called Mercy Corp. And what they're doing is they have a bunch of different social projects and things that they're trying to do uh, to basically help the people in Mongolia support themselves through, you know, a bunch of different uh, programs they have going on there. Hmm. How much so money have you great. raised so far, by the way, Colin? Uh, well, Scott, actually, I'm not sure what our total is right now. Uh, Scott probably has a better idea on that. And if people somehow, some way want to get behind you, Scott, I assume you have a website where people can contribute. Yes, yes. So uh, we've we've raised uh, we've raised over five thousand dollars right now, and uh, we're, we're still not at our goal, but we are close. Uh, so, so every every bit helps, and our website is uh, mongolrallyguys.com, M-O-N-G-O-L, 
mongorallyguys.com. All right. And uh, you can go there and, and get information about what we're doing, and also you can uh, donate online. All right, good for you, and we'll, we'll keep track of you, and we'll check in with you periodically as you get ready to begin this race as well. And wish you well in the meantime. Scott Brills from Michigan there in London, and Colin soon to be joining him overseas, still in the metro area. Colin, Otto, good luck to you as well. Hey, thank you very much. Hey, thank you very much. You're welcome. And we're going to, by very the way, much. after uh, Catherine Leslie does the news at the top of the hour, we're going to kind of put, in a way, a closure on one of the most talked about cable television shows in the history of uh, the medium. Uh, John and 